Hello, my name is Adrian Sherry and this is a quick guide on using QCAD uh, to import a drawing or a picture to help you with your drawing. So, first of all, I'm going to start by creating a new layer specifically for the drawing. So, I'll just create that. That just allows us to turn it on and off once we're doing it. Now in QCAD, there's an icon on the left hand side, which is a picture, so insert bitmap. So as per my other guides, we're using a picture there. You can import various different image files, bitmaps, GIFs, JPEGs, PNG, etc. I've got a PNG here. So I'll open that and import that. And it gives you crosshairs where you want to insert it. And it's the bottom left hand corner of the image. So I'll stick it on the origin to start with. Now that looks a bit funny then that must be because it's huge. So it is quite a large image and if I scale out we can see there that that's been, oops, it's still trying to put one in. I'll quit from that. So that's our image on that layer. And as I say because it's on a layer we can just turn it on and off when we want to. So as scanned in it's got a slight tilt so first thing I need to do is to straighten it up. So what I'll do is if I drag around the image, it puts a box around and in the property editor there, if I drag that up a bit, you can see it's got the geometry with the angle in. So it's tilted down a bit. Let's guess. Let's move it up four degrees. Oh no, too much. Two degrees. Now it's getting closer. Uh, it might be easy if we actually move in a bit and let's draw a horizontal line. So if we pick a line and just freeform it, you can see I've got a set of cursors and a horizontal line. Now, if I pick a line, you can see I'm still not quite aligned. It needs to come down a bit. Let's say 1.5. Now we're anywhere there, nearly, not quite, let's put in 1.25, how are we on that? That's pretty close actually, so those lines are more or less, that must be horizontal now, <coughs> so I'll quit from the line, so that's straightened it up, so we've now got it aligned to the drawing axes. But it's obviously way too big at the moment. So if I zoom in and let's pick a, a dimension. Now on the left hand side again we've got this ruler icon. So if I pick the ruler and I just want to pick between two points, distance point to point. So I'm going to pick this one four foot five inches. It's quite clearly dimension. Oh, I don't want it on grid. Free form. So I'm just going to align with that. Set so of crosshairs, so if we put the cursor over that, such so a crosshairs there, and over to the other end there, it comes out and click again. You can see down the bottom 103 feet 9 inches, 0.09. Obviously, way too big. Now, my drawings I've been doing prototype scale, so I want to reduce this size down to four foot five and a half, so 103, uh, if I get the calculator up, calculator, oh, I'll that, that was my first test, so 103 feet times by 12 equals 1236 plus 9.5 Oh, 09 gives me 1245.09. 4 foot is 48 plus 553. So on my geometry for the image, my width factor at the moment is one I want to reduce that. So 1245.09. So if I do 53 divided by 1243.09. 
and enter. So that gives me width factor there. Height must be the same. Copy and paste that number in there. And the image has disappeared. All right, if I shrink down, you can see in the bottom left hand corner. If I zoom in on that, get there in a second. Oh, so it's disappearing off to the side. Yeah, any there. So there's my drawing. So still centered on zero zero. Horizontals aligned, and as a final check, I'll go into my movement. So again, I'm still on ruler. So first point there. Click on that. Go to the other side and click on that. And slightly wider. But you can see there that the, uh, the distance is four foot five inches. So that matches the four foot five inch. So there, I now have a works drawing imported, horizontals matching, scale matching to 12 inches to the foot. On top of that, I can then start my drawing. So if I put construction layer, so outline, let's make it something so that you can see and then we can start drawing so if we start drawing lines for instance I'm going to draw point to point so do it free form so you can see we can start drawing lines to match up to that and then if we turn the drawing off, that's our line there. So you can use that to trace the drawing and create a new drawing. And that is as simple as that.